Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about Natalie Mordovtseva and Josh Weinstein and a little bit about Mike Youngquist as well. Now, we've covered Natalie because, well, she's appeared on 90 Day Fiance recently, and so we've kind of learned a little bit more about her and Josh Weinstein's relationship, and we're definitely learning more uh, during this tell-all, and it's not all very savory for Natalie. She's actually being accused of being a sugar baby, and if you guys know, well, you know that she's not the first one on 90 Day Fiance to be accused of being that. In fact, Jasmine and Gino, they already confirmed that she was a sugar baby, but in Natalie's case, she is strongly denying the accusations that she's a sugar baby she is fighting back against the insinuation which was made by tim that well you know he kind of pays for you but he doesn't really you know want to kind of treat you as a girlfriend but he kind of gives you money and you know it kind of sounds a lot like a sugar baby arrangement so let's take a look at what's going on here on the stella and also um we're also going to take a look at josh's background uh, and uh, he's a rich guy. How did he get his money and all that stuff? So we'll cover a little bit of that as well. So Natalie gets hysterical after uh, Cass calls Josh her sugar daddy. So you guys let me know what you think about this if you've been watching. Let's take a quick listen, just a couple of seconds here, guys. Are you joking? What are you putting? He's giving me money by sleeping with me. All Oh my okay, God. wait, 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 wait. So, you see, basically, you know, Tim is kind of insinuating that, you know, he's giving money to be sleeping with her. Uh, and uh, Natalie doesn't take that uh, very lightly. She does not like the insinuation there. So, when Natalie's castmates called Josh her sugar daddy, Natalie reached her breaking point. She got extremely emotional on part two of the Single Life Tell All special. That aired uh, just a couple of days ago on Monday when her ex Josh made an appearance. Now, her fellow castmates told Natalie that she was only getting money out of the relationship and bluntly said Josh was never going to marry her. Natalie moved to L.A. from Florida for more entertainment industry opportunities this season and to also be with Josh, allegedly. However, it quickly became obvious that Josh didn't really have a lot of time for her and he never introduced her to his children or invited her to his home. But during part two of the tell-all special, Natalie surprisingly revealed that they reconnected and they actually had spent the night before together. Now, you know, I don't know what that means exactly. This whole situation, guys, this whole situation puzzles me beyond belief. How does Natalie go from one moment asking Mike Youngquist, this was the last video we did about these two, maybe about a week ago, to pump a baby into her, basically, begging Mike to going back with Josh, spending the night with him, and acting like everything is totally fine. This seems like a level of dysfunction that we don't often see. Um, well, we do see it on 90 Day Fiance, but still, it's very odd, very weird behavior. And it doesn't appear, if you ask me, that Natalie and Josh are in a serious relationship, especially considering that Natalie can flip-flop so quickly on Mike, go back to Josh, and then of course we know that Josh is kind of keeping her at a bit of a distance and paying her money to kind of keep her hanging around but not get too close. It sounds a lot like an escort or a sugar baby. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is kind of what Tim says, and I never really thought about it beforehand, but it kind of sounds like that a little bit. You guys will let me know. We'll go through this article, and then, um, you know, you guys will let me know what you think about this whole situation, but it is a little interesting, I have to say. So, um, you know, they're still not technically boyfriend and girlfriend. Another very odd thing for these two. Natalie said that she was stuck in the same cycle with Josh since he never wanted to move the relationship further after three years. Natalie's castmates openly laughed and John cut to the chase. Let's cut this down simple. This is pretty simple, right? He has feelings for you, but he's not going to marry you. You would have introduced her to your daughter by now. If you really had that intention. Now, Tim added, he really hopes he wakes up and the things he don't like has changed and then he would wife her up. But until then, it's not going to happen. 
Josh said he wasn't ready to commit to having Natalie meet his daughter since Natalie would have meltdowns and he didn't want that in his home. He also called her out on having extreme jealousy, which she denied. But we know that it's true that Natalie is extremely jealous to, to the point where it's uh, sometimes she kind of gets this psychotic look on her face uh, when she kind of suspects things or feels like things aren't exactly the way that they should. She kind of goes a little crazy, and I think everybody knows that, uh, maybe besides Natalie, but she is extremely jealous. I think that's almost a fact. Natalie then started crying and said she wasn't having a tough time in L.A. getting work and asked why she was here if Josh didn't want anything to do with her. Now, Josh insisted he never invited Natalie to move to L.A. and that she decided to move to pursue entertainment industry opportunities. When host, uh, host Sean Robinson asked Josh why he paid for things for Natalie, like buying her a car, for example, if she wasn't his girlfriend, he didn't really give a straight answer. Well, I mean, I care for Natalie a lot. I think we care for each other. And, you know, she's fun to be around. So she's fun to be around, but she's not fun enough to introduce her to your family, to your kids, to become boyfriend and girlfriend after three years. That kind of doesn't spell. I mean, that kind of doesn't pass the smell test to me. I, that sounds like BS. It sounds like something else. Josh is saying one thing, but probably what he means is, he just doesn't really want to be in a relationship with Natalie. He's happy to give her money because he has money to give. And he's happy to fool around with her, have some fun with her. But not more than that. Basically, that's exactly what it sounds like. And I think that's exactly what it is because it's been three years. And so I don't think that's a coincidence. Now, when Chantel says uh, she felt Natalie was trying to have a genuine relationship with Josh, but he was giving sugar daddy vibes. Josh said that he expressly told Natalie he was not her sugar daddy, but was just helping her out. When Josh's friend made an appearance at the tell-all and defended him as caring and charitable, Chantel fired back. Well, he said he was intimate with her last night and can define the, re the relationship today. She just begged him to define the relationship. So when Natalie said he couldn't be her sugar daddy since uh, she's never been to his home or work, Veronica told her that was the very meaning of him being a sugar daddy. So... The cast here really ganging up on Natalie <laughs> at the tell-all. And uh, Natalie's very emotional, so that's why she kind of broke down. It's not very hard for her to break down in tears. She kind of does that on a whim. She's kind of like the more real uh, Jasmine, so to speak. Because even though I do think that this relationship with Josh is kind of fake to some extent, I think the reason why they can't explain it is twofold. Probably Natalie has a bit of a sugar baby, sugar daddy arrangement with Josh. She doesn't want to admit that on TV. Number two, she also has a bit of a let's uh, be together because we want to be on TV arrangement with Josh. So there's probably a little bit of both at play here and one plays into the other. Hence why they can't really answer these questions very truthfully or very honestly. It seems like they're kind of fumbling the answers on both sides because neither Josh nor Natalie have really any kind of concrete answers when the questions are being asked but of course it does appear that natalie is the one that wants more out of this relationship with josh and josh is just very happy to keep natalie at a distance uh, at least for the time being so Ver veronica said that that's basically exactly what it means that it's a sugar baby sugar daddy arrangement he gives you money and you have sex and basically nothing else you don't have the house you don't get to go to the house you don't get to meet the kids you just give the sex and you get the dollars. Wow. Well, <laughs> Veronica lays it out. She just lays it out just the way that it is, basically. And, uh, you know, the truth sometimes uh, hurts a little bit. Now, Tim chimed in. Let me reword it because Veronica is a little harsh. Joss is giving her her money, but sleeping with her, but won't commit to her. <laughs> it doesn't exactly sound a lot better. At this point, Natalie had a meltdown and was extremely insulted that Tim insinuated that she was sleeping with Josh for money. Josh attempted to calm her down and said that's not what Tim meant, but the damage was done. Tim, are you normal? She asked, getting hysterical and breaking down into tears. No, I'm not taking this shit. It's not going to happen. Explain yourself. I deserve respect. Only because I come from another country and I'm blonde and a foreigner, it doesn't mean anything. I'm a good human being and I really love him. And I tried to build a relationship, and I'm sorry I failed, but I'm a good human, and I deserve respect. Who fights so hard for myself? 
and my mom's living and I do deserve respect. I'm a human. How can you do this? So Natalie kind of um, not taking uh, these, um, you know, these insinuations very lightly. Uh, she's uh, very emotional. Like I said, it's not exactly the first time that we see her uh, getting hysterical. And this is what she said as well. One right decision can change my life and make it easier and beautiful and normal. One right decision can change my life. So Natalie just trying to make one right decision that will forever change her life. And uh, I'm not sure that, you know, being with Josh is that right decision. Now, Josh does have money and Natalie is with Josh. So is Natalie with Josh only f for the money? She's denying that. But you guys, let me know what you think. You guys are smart enough. I know all of you guys. You leave the comments. You guys are super smart. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Do you think that Veronica and Tim and the cast at the Single Life Tell All nailed it when they called Natalie a sugar baby? Or do you think that they were being harsh and mean to Natalie and perhaps there's more to this relationship than, um, you know, basically a transactional relationship, cash for sex? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So I just wanted to go over this a little bit because... Uh, well, Josh Weinstein is, uh, he's loaded. And so what does he do and uh, how does he make his money? Let's take a quick look at this just to figure out. Uh, maybe we can get more answers about Natalie and maybe why she's with Josh. Who knows? So Josh Weinstein, he is known for basically giving money to Natalie Mordovceva is what this uh, article from People.com says. And, uh, you know, she's trying to establish an expensive life in L.A. because, well, it is expensive to live in L.A. Now, he was accused of treating her like a sugar baby, so fans want to know exactly how much money does Josh have. So, Josh is the founder and CEO of Preview Models, according to the organization's uh, website. Preview Models is a production company that gives aspiring models from all around the world the opportunity to walk the runway in front of LA's top modeling agencies for the chance to get the representation here in Los Angeles. We are best known as the organizer of the Preview Models Fashion Show in Hollywood, California, with performances by Kid Inc. and Don Benjamin. So Josh met Natalie during an event hosted by his company in Florida when Natalie was living in Florida after she uh, you know, left Mike Youngquist. She was living in Florida for some time. So that's where she met Josh. And in addition to Preview Models, Josh is also the CEO and co-founder of Create Luck which is a company that organizes luxury giveaways featuring your favorite celebs and influencers. So um, giveaways. So, you know, sometimes I see these giveaways like on Instagram and stuff. And um, I don't know, not, not a huge fan of them, but basically, you know, a bunch of these uh, influencers, let's just say in quotations, uh, because I always wonder who, like, who is Natalie Mordovceva influencing out there? Maybe there's a couple of people, but is she really influencing people? Because when you watch her on the show, she comes off a little, let's just say, unbalanced or a little unhinged. And so I wouldn't want her influencing me. But if she's influencing you guys, I'm going to try not to judge. But sometimes I wonder who these influencers are really influencing. But sometimes you'll see them on Instagram kind of come together and they like just basically try to get uh, people to follow them by giving away some kind of product. So maybe... This is what this is about that Josh is doing. Now, I'm not sure that this makes a ton of money. Perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps it does. But uh, I'm not exactly sure that it does. But that's what he does. Luxury giveaways featuring your favorite celebs. Why was Josh accused of treating uh, Natalie like a sugar baby? So, um, you know, so basically Josh also set up Natalie with an interview with his cousin Adam to be a receptionist uh, at his business. Unfortunately, the conversation got off to a rough start when Adam pointed out that Natalie's resume was in Ukrainian. So basically, Josh has been trying to help Natalie out, uh, not just by giving her money, but trying to get her gigs, obviously, with his uh, preview models company, uh, and also trying to get her, uh, you know, work with, you know, with his cousin family members as well. So, yeah, so we kind of went over the uh, the other uh, part of this right, right here. So, Josh, basically, it's this is how he makes his money. So he's a CEO of Preview Models, and um, you know he's involved in uh, the modeling world uh, in LA and uh, trying to give basically people like Natalie, you know, models from around the world, an opportunity to showcase their talents in front of 
LA's, um, I guess, uh, judges or whatever you call them. So that's what he does. Allegedly, this is how he's uh, very, very rich. Um, and so this is also why Natalie is with Josh, because I'm guessing part of this arrangement, since Josh has this kind of business, and since Natalie is looking for uh, entertainment work, uh, part of the arrangement likely is not just cash for sex, but also cash and perhaps some modeling or uh, you know entertainment industry opportunities for Natalie. The problem, though, is that I'm not exactly sure that Natalie is a good actress. I'm not exactly sure that she's a great model. I don't know. Maybe she is. She posts a lot of pictures on Instagram, and so uh, I don't want to be too harsh to Natalie, but I'm not exactly sure about what uh, she, you know, she's able to offer to the LA audience. And, um, you know, she might also be getting a little too old to, to really be like an actor because she's pushing 40 by now and hasn't really made a breakthrough. And also she has, uh, you know, she still has a Ukrainian or Russian accent, a uh, Ukrainian accent. And so I don't know if that helps her. I would guess that it probably doesn't. Now, in my opinion, I don't think that Natalie's uh, acting career is going anywhere. I think she's just going to get some gigs here and there, uh, and that's about it. I don't think she's ever going to get rich becoming a huge actress in L.A. I just don't see that happening. Now, on um, 90 Day Savage account, basically, they kind of lay it out. So, Natalie, you live in the same city, but Josh refuses to take you to his home. He won't introduce you to his daughter or claim you as his girlfriend, and he takes you to hotels to have sex. Sorry to break it to you, but you're, uh, maybe you guys can fill in the blank there. What do you guys think? Because those are the facts. That's, that's kind of how the relationship works. It's not, it's not even harsh. It's just the reality. And so what is Natalie? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this update about Natalie and Josh and a little bit about Mike Youngquist as well. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button for more content right here. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.